Hey y'all. Well, we were uh, we were asked about the uh, Mongolian Gur, and uh, Rumi's got her set up out here, so we'll give you a picture, give you a look at it. So people want to know how it was built. There's a detail of the where all the lattice work crosses. The whole thing rolls up. Comes apart and rolls up. Y'all can talk, don't worry about it. And uh, there's the rafters. There's the wheel that holds everything together. Little door frame section. Let's see if I can back up and get a better shot of this. It's set up on uneven ground. The door don't want to stay shut. And uh, go figure on the on the door handles, huh? There's one of the turnbuckles. And we'll go inside and we'll take a peek at that wheel there. And there's the wheel. That pushes down on the rafters, which push down on the top of the walls which have this aircraft cable which gets tightened up which runs the entire circumference of the top and that transfers the weight. Then we have another cable in the center just so it can't bulge out and it's really that simple. It's covered with two pieces of canvas if I can remember to come out here while she's doing it there's the canvas so you're gonna you're gonna put this together now, right? So you want to give me a call so I can come back and shoot some more when when the when the con is up. Cool. All right. See y'all in a bit. And there it is with the walls on and the roof on. It's a small backyard, so we gotta take a get a little close to it. Well, while I'm here, you can see that the walls are just basically hung on that same cable with these just little hooks. Then you put the roof on, drape it over and put another line on and that holds it up underneath the ends of the rafters. And there you can see the door. She hasn't tucked up the roof there where a the door can open easily but you just she just tucks the roof up there. And then you see the, the stakes they just hold the smoke hole cover on. And we'll open a door here, go inside, and you can see there it's freestanding. She has a line run right there, just forming a triangle. She can hang stuff from, and it does if it gets really, really, really windy, it helps to hold it into the wheel. But you can see the darker areas is the, is the smoke hole covering that. There's a hole right there, you can see the hem, and a little bit of uh, mesh, keep the bugs out. And when it gets really hot, I don't know if you can see them, but on the outsides of the walls, we'll go look in a second, there's these little ties. You can actually pick it up, pick the bottom up a little bit and the hot air going up through the smoke hole will draw cool air in the bottom. And she has ties every so often all the way around. And again, just look at the door. And this one's 12 feet in diameter. Easily fits a queen size bed and there's plenty of places to hang stuff. So it's, it's kind of neat. We have an event coming up where she's gonna be living in this. And if I get a chance, and she lets me. I'll come down and videotape it when she gets it all done. But that's what it looks like now. A lot of people have been asking about these, so I figured I'd give you a little thing. Little video for you. And that's a Mongolian Gur turned into sort of a Celtic hovel. I like it. Y'all can talk, it's okay, the camera won't bite. How long did it take us to put this up? What, about five minutes?
The roof part? The roof part, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she built this thing. But since it's just the palms tied to each other, I couldn't cut it. Mm. I like it. <laughs> I think so it's cool it's looking. Funny looking. Like I said, it, it does remind me a little bit of the huts on Gilligan's Island, but... I got a cowlick over there on the side. A cowlick. Like I said, what, what do you say? It looked like John Bon Jovi? That's funny. That's all right. You know, and I'll bet you after it's been out in the sun and wet a couple times, it'll lay, it'll lay down and look cooler. It's probably it's going to stay in my roof, too. Mm-hmm. 